welcome guys to the class that i am so happy once again to be in your company from my house to yours guys i accumulate so many stuff from lighting fixtures i get a lot of lighting fixtures and these and pendant lightings and so on and i save certain pieces so that i can reuse in other diys so these are some of them that i had i had done several things with them already so these are the remaining pieces i'm trying to get all these things out because my craft room was too overcrowded so i want to be using these as base for what i want to do and these chains were from this particular one now this was a light in fixtures but the flies and so on you to just go in there and make a whole lot of mess so i decided to transform it into a planter now these are the bottom and i had some wood spindles these were from a bed and i decided that i want to use them to do a candle holder so i got two spindles that were pretty better than the rest and i'm just shaving down the edge a bit to insert it into the piece and once it goes in i am going to glue that together now guys this is our what would you make challenge once again and i'm participating in it and our dear host uh okay at home diy our lovely zena and connie's creative creations oh my gosh connie does such lovely artwork and their guest host is marika creations and do check in the description box for all the information to their channels and to the playlist and let's continue on so guys i just use a little tool just to <laughs> pong it into it now these other pieces i had there from another lighting fixture and these were from like a chandelier piece and i decided to save them i wanted to use it on this but the hole was too big and it was just going too far down onto the piece then i found these other pieces these candle holders one had gotten broken and i decided just to take off the little piece that you're seeing i'm taking off there and use the little cups as the base for, it's not the base but the top for the candle holder now guys when i was ponging initially i this piece broke and i tried to stick it but it was not sticking so i changed that and i'm using this other piece i'm just going to do the same thing with the spindle and the bottom piece of this i'm just going to glue it around and the glue is going to hold it pretty well and get it stuck into there so what i'm doing i'm just using the I think I said cups before, but the little plates or saucers, and I am just adhering it to the top piece. Now, this is how it's looking. It's holding very well, and I am going to paint this in a charcoal color, and then I'm going to share with you later on how it looks. So I'm going to paint this right through. I'm not going to distress it. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm just going to leave it just as is, and I'll let it dry and then i am going to show you a second piece that i will be sharing with you so guys i had these hoops um initially i did do a diy with it before i had done a floral on one and i had done a wagon wheel on it i decided to use it again to do another craft i'm just going to leave the rope that is on one of them and i'm going to make a lovely hoop wood stand and i'm just using this smaller twine i'm just gonna wrap around the top of the piece i'm wrapping the two of them together to hold the tops together i'm not gonna glue it i'm just wrapping it with the twine now guys i these are from you know those net that you hang over your bed mosquito nets this is what these hoops were from it's not a hula hoop but these were the rings that were on the net and i found a piece of wood that i had outside and i decided 
I'm going to make a hoop stand. I've seen these done. I always love them. And I will just be gluing mines in place. I'm not tying it with any um, wires or any things. I'm just going to use the glue. The glue is going to hold it pretty well together. And once I'm finished, I'm just going to paint the hoop in the same charcoal color. And this is how it's really sturdy. I tried pulling out the piece after to adjust it and it would not come out. So the glue really held it nicely together. And this is how it's looking. A simple, effective design. And guys, I saw one of this in a store and it was selling for a hundred and something dollars. So let me share with you how they look. Now this is it in the corridor that goes back to the washroom and laundry area and so on and another bedroom guys look how lovely it turned out i am so proud that it turned out so lovely and this was just spindles from a bed and you know um from existing lighting fixture the bottom base and it came in very useful and i have two battery operated candles and i did put some bling around the candles just uh, some gold diamond wrap it looks really gorgeous so i did place it inside here to show you two different versions how it looks and this is how look how lovely it goes together with the other pieces that i have on this console and guys let me know where you think it looks better if it's here or in the corridor but i so loved this diy craft and I thank Zena and Connie and Marika for the What Would You Make Challenge for hosting it. And guys, do remember to check out in the description box for the playlist to all the ladies who are going to be in this playlist. So, you notice how the colors, they tie into one another and those that in the vase, they are just some wildflowers from outdoor. And like I said, let me know what you think with the pieces. And this is the hoop. I do have it in the washroom area, the guest washroom area. Guys, I so love how this turned out. Let me know what you think. Very simple, very cost effective. Things that would have been thrown out, you know, and it came in useful. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you soon. Guys, do check out the playlist in the description box and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Catch you later.